Hello everybody, it's Anne Marie Cobert, and I'm here today to share a design team project card process that I created for Scrapbooking with Me's Boutique, and it is featuring the November kit. Here I took a piece of uh, 8.5 by 11 craft card stock that I had in my cards, uh, my stash, and I cut that down to 8.5 by 9 inches. After cutting it um, to to the eight and a half by nine, I took it and I folded it in half and created a four and a quarter by four and a half inch card. I'm adding a piece of the um, paper collection on top of that. I just want to make sure that um, I run my hands across it to make sure that it, it, it adheres good to the piece of card stock. Here I'm taking um, the Bow Bunny Oh So Lovely um, die that came in the kit from the boutique and I cut out one of each one of the leaves there was three different leaves and I am now adhering those down and I'm using that piece right there is a piece of the um, paper that collection that I used the other two were pieces that um, I cut out of some scrap card stock that came in the kit um, and I'm just applying those leaves and I'm doing it in a triangular pattern I'm applying them with some glue and I'm using the um, bottle with the um, fine tip on there and you can put the, the glue into this bottle and you can get these bottles they're fine lines um, and you can get these bottles over at the boutique also they are great for putting on small pieces so I'm just putting them on the card here I'm taking some twine. I had wrapped up some twine and I'm just pulling it apart to make it more fuller. And I'm attaching that at the top of the leaves, of the cluster of leaves that I've um, glued down. I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue to attach this because it's a little more bulkier. Plus it, um, the, it takes a little longer for the other glue to dry. These are some flowers that came in the kit. They're the Kaiser Craft Mini Paper Blossoms. And I'm taking them right now, and you'll see I'm wrapping them around the um, Timmy Poker Tool. And I'm just using that vine to wrap them around so I could use them as the little vines coming out. And I just pull them apart. And that just adds to the, um, the card. So I'm gluing the flowers down now that I have them all wrapped and, and they're ready to go. And I'm going to layer them on the card in a cluster of three. Here I'm taking a piece of cardstock and a punch that I had in my stash and I'm just punching out a little label and I'm going to utilize this to put my sentiment on and lay it on the card. You'll see me here checking to make sure it's going to fit and it does perfectly. I'm using some Lindy's embossing powder and Midnight Pewter and I'm going to emboss the sentiment that says Autumn Blessings on here. These make cute little cards to send off with a little note wishing everybody a happy Thanksgiving uh, for those um, people that you want to send something to, but you you know they're in your family and you just don't get to see them. They're just so easy and you know you can just make them very quickly. So as you see here, I mean this took me no time at all. Um, but what I was doing was taking the brush and cleaning off around where some of the residue of the embossing powder stayed on there. And I'm doing it again, just making sure that I didn't, I didn't want a bunch of specks um, around the uh, note. I'm going to heat boss this embossing powder real quick so it will be set. And then I can put my sentiment on my card. Here I received some um, jewels from the eyelet outlet that came from the boutique in our kit and they're in orange and I'm going to utilize those by putting them around the um, sentiment just to, um, you know, decorate it up just a little bit. So I'm deciding which jewels I want to put on here. Then I decided I wanted a little bit more glitter on there so I took some of the stickles that came in the kit and that 
was um, the, uh, let's see here, cinnamon stickles that also came in the kit. And I'm just going around in a couple of the spots uh, in between the orange jewels that I used to apply a couple of um, little dots with that on there to give it some sparkle. This was a super simple, easy card, very cute. Um, like I said, it's a four and a quarter by four and a half. It's not a standard A, A4 size or A2, um, but it is small. It's, it doesn't cost much to send. I try not to make it too bulky so that it's, you know, I can get it in the mail. I really like the way it came out. I'm going to be sending these out to some of my family members that I won't be able to be with during the holidays. So, um, you know, it's really nice. So here's the pictures of it, and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial, and thanks for stopping by.